The Saint of Fort Washington tells the story of two homeless men in New York City. Danny Glover stars as a Vietnam vet left with nothing but his war wounds and his spirit. And Matt Dillon is a homeless kid who's mentally disturbed and has been abandoned by his family and left to fend for himself on the streets. Glover adopts Dillon and becomes his protector in the harsh environment of the Fort Washington shelter where dangerous and desperate street people spend the night. It's nothing to you, what you button in for? My son. He right. He blacker than you, matter of fact. Glover shows his young friend the ropes, including even how to earn a few bucks by cleaning windshields for drivers stopped at intersections. And the movie finds humor even in this meager, thankless task. A dime, Matthew. A dime. Well, it's no better than slave labor. I thought we fought the Civil War to escape these wages. Thank you kindly, ma'am. May all your children be white. Thanks a lot. May all your children be white. The title, The Saint of Fort Washington, refers to Dylan's character, whose innocence seems to have a healing, mystical quality. He hears voices in his head that frighten him, but his mentor says the voices are a gift. Moses come down that mountain. Doctors ask him, what he hear? He said, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. They say, oh, yeah, Moses, you hear that? Voices say that? Hey, they shoot him full of Thorazine, lock him up, throw away the key. Hey, if it wasn't for voices, we'd still be pagans. What I liked most about the movie was the way it goes into detail about how these people do survive homeless in the city, how they get money, where they sleep, how they live. I think the next time somebody comes up to me at a traffic intersection and tries to wash the windshield of my car, I'm going to be a little more understanding. I give the Saint of Fort Washington three stars, and I'm Roger Ebert.